Hey guys, I wanted to give you a few quick tips about plank that might be really useful to you. So in my classes, I often tell people in plank to press the floor away. And sometimes that can be hard to see, especially when teaching online from the side. So normally when I say this, I'm normally saying point the pointer fingers or middle fingers forward with knees down or knees up, press the floor away. And as you can see, what I'm trying to do is push the middle back up. When I say middle back, I don't mean here, but I mean the space between your shoulder blades. So I wanna show you what that looks like from the front. So same thing, fingers point forward, tuck the toes or untuck the toes. And then instead of creating a very right angle in the shoulder, we wanna press the floor away and create what I think of as like buoyancy. <laughs> Like somehow there's a big helium balloon underneath the top of my sternum pushing up. And then as you bring the shoulders over during your shiva, um, chaturanga, so bring the shoulders over and then when you take chaturanga nice and slow, you do retract the shoulders in and back and then you end up getting more straightness across the collarbone. So watch that transition once more. So my collarbone looks a bit more round. And then as I come down, it can flatten out. The thing is, if you start already really square in your plank, and then you come down through chaturanga, I see a lot of shoulders coming to um, ears. And it's also just not that safe in plank. So whether you're doing plank in yoga classes or you're doing plank for other fitness work. Think about pressing the floor away and creating a lot of space between the shoulder blades and almost a roundness in the collarbone and shoulders. Obviously the collarbone is straight, it can't really get round, but you can kind of start creating that shape and that buoyancy in the chest. I do wanna make sure that just because we're rounding the shoulders this way does not mean we ever bring the shoulders to the ears. So I hope that tip helped you and I hope it relates to your yoga practice and anything you do with me or anyone else. Thanks guys.